Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at what Device Senses is. It's called, and you probably know, DeviceSenses.exe. A lot of people are having problems. It's popping up errors. It's using up a ton of their processor and causing a lot of difficulties. Well, Device Census is actually a valid application for Microsoft that helps you determine what build of Windows 10 you are on. As far as we can tell, the May 2004 update, stupid name when it's 2020, but what do we know? Essentially, I'm still sitting here in August waiting for the May update. We believe this is a program that runs to determine what build of Windows 10 you can upgrade to without problems. So it's kind of important that you get your feature update when it's ready for your computers. It will collect your build architecture, in other words, 32-bit, 64-bit, your region, your language, if you're on the insider ring, and your hardware, which is probably the big thing. So let's take a quick look here. And we'll find it just so you can see where it is. Windows System 32. Right there. So if you click it, right-click and hit Properties, you can see that it is a Microsoft application. So if you're wondering what it is, whether you should delete it, the answer is no. We do not delete system files. And that's essentially a system file. What you can do is you can pause it or pause your Windows update, that might help. You can simply do that. There's a link here, and it'll be in the video description up here somewhere to get to this link. You could actually just shut it for a week. You could hit settings, update and security, and just click pause updates right there. And hopefully that will stop it from running in the background if it's causing you problems. And then click it back on maybe when you go to bed or when you're not gonna use your computer for eight, 10 hours, let it do its thing in the background. And, Forget about it. There you go. The other thing we can do is we can actually disable it for now. Not a big fan, but if you know what you're doing, feel free. Windows key plus S. Whoops. Let's do task scheduler. So Windows key plus S, start typing in task scheduler. And when you see it, go ahead and click it. And we want to expand, as you can see here, task scheduler library, Microsoft Windows device information. Task scheduler library, Microsoft Windows, is that what I said? Yep, device information. Move this over so we can see. Right there. You might have a couple of them running. Most people will. As you can see, when I did the video originally, or the tutorial originally, I only had one. So you're looking for one that says multiple triggers defined, not the other one. And it should say just device, not device user. So now that we have that, you can click over here and click disable or you can right click and click disable. And as you can see, it's now disabled. Now, if you go this method, just remember this is for somebody who maybe you know you don't want Windows updates for more than a week and you're gonna to wanna to come back and click enable on the right click or just come over here and click enable. And it'll stay ready when it's running. It'll say disabled when it's disabled. So that's another way you can do it. Down below at the bottom of this page, you can also follow through on some of the other Windows Update stuff, deleting files, and again, how to pause or delay, which they keep changing on us. And they've gotten to the point now where they've changed the date. We can only go back. Geez, so far now, let me show you real quick. It's uh, kind of annoying. Microsoft keeps uh, deciding what you want. Here's your advanced options. So a little different on every computer. I'm running a fast ring build. So there's your temporary pause. And as you can see, they're not giving you as much time as they used to. So it depends on your computer. So not much else you can do about it, but that should stop it for now. It's just consider a temporary problem if it's using your CPU or causing you errors. It's just a temporary problem, more than likely until you get that Windows update, which again, as I said, as I'm sitting here now, June, July, three months waiting for my May update, it could be a little bit of a pain. So. Not a fan, but there you have it. That's how you can deal with device census if need be. Just remember, don't delete it. And there you have it. That is device census or device census.exe. Bottom right corner, Major Geeks logo. Click subscribe. Thanks for watching. As always, see ya.